Park Loomis is home to plenty of talented individuals. Tonight, Fox 14 Sydney Lane introduces us to one local who spends his spare time on a unique craft. The saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure, always seems to ring true. We met with a local who, in his spare time, takes old cigar boxes like these, combines it with this, till he gets this, a cigar box guitar. I've started building cigar box guitars. Um, it's an old uh, instrument, uh, almost an artwork. Uh, the salt, the styling and all started way back, uh, early times. A lot of people couldn't afford a, a regular guitar. They just started whatever parts they had, you know, laying around, and they would just fashion their own guitar. Inspiration can come from anywhere, and when you have two hobbies you're passionate about, why not combine them to see what magic can happen? Growing up as a child, I've always enjoyed building stuff with my hands, but I'm also a musician. I play bass and guitar, um, and several years back, uh, I, I wanted a particular finish on a, on a bass, and I couldn't find it, you know, ready to buy. So I said, okay, I'm just going to build my own. And after that, I'm like, I want something else to build. And heard about these things. Just started looking into it. I was like, I can do that. I'm artistic enough. The process of creating a cigar box guitar with all the unique elements all starts from a simple picture to help with the brainstorming. What I usually do is I'll, I'll, I'll take pictures of the boxes. And that way I can just, just look at them on random. And then after a while, it's like, okay. I'll use this for the neck. This is what I'll start using. This is how I want to do the sound hole. You know, I'll start coming up with ideas there. Besides using old cigar boxes to build guitars, Phil has found that any item can be used to help create the finished product. Door hinges, nuts, and bolts, and even drain covers can be used. What, what do you want to use for a sound hole? I just, you know, drill a hole, get a drain cover, cover it up with that, a bolt nut for the uh, bridge and a threaded rod for the nut up here. You might be wondering where Phil gets all his boxes from and what happens if a cigar box can't be used for a guitar or ukulele. There's a couple of uh, cigar stores and I can go in there, rummage through their empties and either purchase them or sometimes they'll just give them to me. But I also know people uh, who have just flat given me boxes and you realize some of the boxes you have maybe won't work exactly for a guitar, but that they might work for something else. I built an amp out of one of the cigar boxes. I've got some boxes, their, their sizing and everything, I think is perfect for like a, a clock. What does he do with all the guitars and ukuleles he makes? Well, of course, he doesn't keep them all. I have given some, some away, but I have sold several. But it's fun, you know? P people enjoy these things. I've had people come to me say, hey, I've got this box, make me one with this. And I'll usually come up with something special for them, you know, that kind of goes with the box. Crafting and building may seem like it's hard, but that's not always the case. And even Phil was surprised that building these unique instruments was easier than it looked. I thought it was going to be a little harder, but once you get into it, it's really simple. Because you're literally just taking a box, cutting an opening to fit a neck in there. You know, you can get, get as or, ornate as, you know, putting electronics into it, or it can be very plain. This really shows that if you have an idea that's outside the box and you put your mind to it, anything can become something. For me, working on stuff like, like this, it's almost a soothing, gets my mind off of the things of life, okay? It's a, it's in a way, it's a way for me to escape and just focus my mind on doing something artistic. Reporting for Local News That Matters, I'm Sydney Lane. All right, thank you very much, Sydney. Well, it's now time for weather. Walker joins us from the Weather Center. What's that weather looking like, Walker? Well, Nick, I just want to say I'm glad to see he really wasn't stringing us along there. <laughs> see what you did there. Good one. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> laughed. Maybe it was just me. Regardless, we'll take a look.